Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we will see how we can make fire using Unity particle system. So let's get started. We will start by creating a new particle system. So click on effects, particle system and rename it to fire. Reset its position so that we can see it properly. Zoom into it. After that, go to renderer and set the maximum particle size to 3. Now I have a fire texture into my PC. I will import it into my Unity. Now I will create a new material and rename it to fire underscore mat. And go to standard legacy shader particles additive drag and drop this fire texture into this material and drop this material into the fire particle system this is how it will look go to renderer and select stretched build board set the length scale to 2 if it is not 2 now go back to the top and set the duration to 8. Set the lifetime to 3.71. Start speed will be 1.1. Change the color to something orangish red. Go to emission and set a value of 30. Inside the shape module, our shape will be cone and its radius will be 0.3. Zoom it a little bit or we can also open our game scene. Let's reset the camera position. Now we can see both of them side by side. Okay. After that, go to color over lifetime and this is how we will set our color. Turn the opacity down to zero in the start and the end as well and it will be full in the middle. Now select size over lifetime and click this curve and we will need a curve like this. Now select the rotation over lifetime, select curve and we will select a curve like this. After that, create a new light, point light, and turn down its range to 4 and create a. Okay. Click on light and assign this point light here. Maximum light will be 1 and intensity multiplier will be 10 and range multiplier will be 5. I think uh, the color of our fire is a bit too bright. Let's change it a little bit. Also turn down the opacity a little bit. I think this looks great. So, this is how we create fire using the Unity particle system. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. We will see you in a new video.